Welcome to the Central Wisconsin Spotlight Home Enhancement Show. I'm your host, Patrick Daly. This is where we talk to the experts and relay the information back to you. We have a full show, so let's get started with tips for designing or remodeling your kitchen or bathroom from Featherstone Cabinetry and Design. With regards to beginning a project before you start rolling up your sleeves and getting going, um, typically there's four criteria that we'd like our clients to think about. First of all, what is the scope of the project? For example, a kitchen. Will soffits be coming out? Will you be changing the lighting? Uh, are you allowing plumbing changes? And then what type of cooktop are you looking at? Is it a cooktop, range, gas, electric, things like that? The second thing would be your budget. And typically this is where I would recommend that people think high end. And by that I mean overestimate, you know, plan for, I guess, the worst case scenario or, um, you know, the highest number that you can think up just so that you're prepared because chances are that by the time you hire a contractor all the way to your flooring and everything shakes out, um, you may be surprised as to what things do cost these days. The third thing would be what the final result should be. So what are you trying to achieve? What look are you going for? What do you envision? And we can bring it to life, but it helps to know what they are thinking in their mind and what they're trying to visualize and what they want to see at the end. And also what is going on during the project. So if they need help with project coordination, you know, that is a service that we offer, turnkey services. If they want to say, we just want one person to contact and you handle it all from coordinating the contractor all the way down to the electrician and the plumber, we can do that at Featherstone. Otherwise, if it's simply just somebody to hold their hand along the way, like I said before, you get that one designer as your point of contact and we are here for our clients. Right now, contemporary is the in thing. So um, we have a lot of people that come in looking for a very clean and simplified approach to cabinetry. Uh, long gone are the days of a lot of ornate features or intricate curves and beading. We still get requests for that and we can certainly do it. But as far as features and looks, contemporary and sleek, very modern, um, including hardware, which is something Featherstone offers as well, including countertops. And so people are looking for things from uh, no longer granite necessarily as their first choice. They're looking to upgrade and go even into quartz. We do that very often in our kitchens these days. When it comes to hardware, they're looking for sleek finishes, perhaps stainless steel to tie into their appliances. And um, as far as accessories, something that's very modern um, for a push-out system on a drawer would be something called the servo drive, where I like to think that those who may have arthritis or something that uh, makes it difficult for them to grab a pull or a knob and pull it open, they can simply touch the cabinet door, it's on an electronic drive, and the door or drawer can open up for them. They're coming to Featherstone specifically to get assistance on projects that are of the finer details. We can even get things um, to help them keep everything from their Tupperware to their pots and pans all in nice tidy order. People are really trying to get the most out of their cabinetry. That's another reason they come to Featherstone, who is a custom cabinetry maker. We can do things that stock cabinets simply can't do. And so to us, um, you know, it might seem kind of uh, geeky, but to us a cabinet is just more than a box. For more information, log on to the Featherstone Cabinetry website, give them a call, or stop by their showrooms in Rothschild or Manaqua. It's one of the largest individual pieces of your home. You typically use it several times a day, yet I'm told by the folks at Zabel's Door Company, your garage door does not likely get the attention it deserves. So the curb appeal on your home uh, definitely revolves a lot around your garage door. It's one of the bigger parts of your home that leaves a big statement. Today we're taking the time to look at different styles of garage doors. You got your standard style garage door. There's multiple different colors that we can keep going with for less cost. Um, this is a timber last section. This is a wood grain looking section. Uh, kind of gives you that old school cabin type look. And then right on down to a carriage house style if you're kind of looking for that barn door style. Typical A number one thing that go wrong with your garage door is you're going to break a spring. Um, it happens to everybody. But that's the biggest thing that breaks on a garage door. Other things that you can watch for yourself are your cables and stuff. If there's any frays in a cable that runs alongside the door. Uh, also your rollers and hinges as well. If you have a blown out hinge, it's going to look kind of kicked over and make a lot of grinding noise and stuff like that. Uh, if your rollers are blown out, they're not going to be set and centered on the shaft that's inside of those. They'll kind of be wobbly and also making a lot of noise. Most common things I guess we get called for would be photo eye issues where your garage door doesn't want to go down all of a sudden. 
easy things to check on that are your photo eye lights that are at the bottom of your door. Uh, make sure there's nothing in front of them, cobwebs, shovels. They get misaligned. If you have something in the way, you most likely won't see the light itself until you have them realigned. It'll come back on. Otherwise, it's on or off, uh, whether there's something in front of it or not. Another thing to check on your garage door is to make sure it's closing properly with the proper closed force itself. So when the door is coming down, you want to be able to stop it and send it back up so it doesn't come down onto whether it's your car underneath there, a bike, or even worse, a child. Most manufacturers recommend you to test this once a month. As far as regular maintenance goes on your garage door, you need to be lubricating your, every moving part of the garage door at least quarterly. Some people do it a little bit more often, but I would say quarterly is a good number to live by um, to lubricate your rollers and your hinges and your springs. So a very common thing that happens when you lose power, obviously your operator is not going to work anymore. Uh, easiest way out, you're just going to come up and you're going to grab this red T-handle here, give it a good firm tug down, and now you can go to the garage door itself and pull up on it, and now you're out. As far as your box store operators go, uh, you're better off getting them from a professional series. So they're professionally installed, A. Um, B, you're looking at a solid steel rail instead of a piece together rail. Uh, biggest mistake with that is people will buy a, a seven foot operator for an eight foot door and now they can't get their door to work, go all the way up like they wanted to. Warranty issues off, uh, also with your operator will help you with them. But if you're still under warranty, you got to deal with the warranty companies yourself. Uh, sometimes can be a hassle, whereas if you did get it from a professional like us, we can, we take care of all that for you, that all the leg work on it. So for service on all models, garage doors or openers, new garage doors, or any questions, contact Zabel's Door Company. Well, it's finally spring and we're all looking forward to spending more time outside of our home. That's good news for Leisure City. It's, it's what people want and sometimes what people need. They need relaxation. We call ourselves the Backyard Headquarters of North because we have the furniture for relaxing or dining sets to eat outside when the weather permitting and also uh, hot tubs to relax it and get rid of, your, rid of the aches and the pains of, the, of your body from working all day long. And saunas are very good as well as far as uh, I do traditional and I do infrared and both have their health benefits for arthritis and achy bones. People want American made and they want eco-friendly energy efficient as well. Vita Spas has the most energy efficient hot tubs on the market plus the quietest. The insulation that, that uh, Vita uses is recycled cotton and blue jeans. And there's no more, aren't using any chemicals anymore and the sprayed foam was all chemical. Now we have just no more chemicals so that's better for the environment as well. The cost of running the hot tub, it's, uh, we figured it's roughly about a buck and a quarter a day budgeted throughout the year outside, that's with chemicals and electricity. And one thing that's really important about my hot tubs is I have an ozone on every hot tub that I sell because an ozonator does 85% of the cleaning naturally. As my husband would say, buying a hot tub without an ozone is like buying a car without tires. Simple as that. With my hot tubs, no chemical smell. It's very relaxing and let, and let the ozone do the work naturally. We sell a few lines of grills. We, say, we sell Sabre, infrared, that's the infrared te technology. Simple, easy, fast, and so flavorful. What infrared does, it's all even heat, and what it does is when you put your food on, the juices vaporize back into the meat to give you that flavor. This grill will smoke like no other gas grill you've ever seen, and that's how you get your flavor. And there are no hot spots, there are no flare-ups. And here's the Kamado style grill that we sell. You can smoke your prime ribs, your uh, brisket, uh, big pieces of meat, and we sell the lump wood as well that's flavored. So if you want to if you want to smoke, whether it's hickory or whether it's pecan or oak, we have that as well. And here I want to show you this is a wood pellet grill. It's all naturally wood pellet. You put them in the hopper. It's got an auger, and it whatever temperature you set it at, that auger and the control will keep the heat even heat of what you want. This is also moist and you can smoke as well. And the pellets that we get, the natural wood pellets, come from Hayward, Wisconsin. I sell 100% recycled milk jug furniture by Berlin Gardens. 
American made by the Amish. Besides being comfortable, there's no inside storage required. Leave them out all year round, it doesn't matter. It's practically maintenance free. Of course, in the spring, once in a while, you might have to just spray them off or wipe them down, but they're the, to me, the most comfortable chair on the market. For information on hot tubs, spas, grills, and outdoor furniture, contact Leisure City in Woodruff. As with the rest of technology, our appliances keep getting smarter and smarter. The kitchen now has become part of the living area. Uh, a lot of open concept where the kitchen is right connected with uh, your, your family rooms and, and living rooms and stuff like that. So, you know, it's a gathering place. The kitchen has, has turned into the gathering place of the home. People want to make it as nice as they can. I've seen a lot of high-end finishes and GE came out the slate color about four years ago. That kind of took the industry by storm. Uh, black stainless is out now. A lot of manufacturers, Whirlpool, KitchenAid, um, Samsung LG have a black stainless that's out. Um, that has been going well. Even like on a, like on a gas range, of a standard 30-inch household gas range now, where four burners used to be the standard, now we see a lot of five burners. We see a lot of griddles in the center, uh, which is a really nice feature for doing sandwiches, pancakes, stuff like that. You just have that all right on the stove, easy to clean. Um, it just eliminates, having that griddle eliminates the, like a, a countertop griddle that you would normally have. Yeah, technology is crazy. Uh, we're seeing a, a, a lot of connected appliances, a lot of things connected online. Um, you can turn your ovens on, set your ovens with your phone. One of the new things that G has done with their refrigerator with a cured K cup in it is they've connected it with the Amazon Echo. Alexa, tell Geneva to heat the water. You'd like me to heat water using your refrigerator for K-Cup, 190 degrees Fahrenheit, right? Yes. Sure. They have Samsung has a refrigerator, has cameras in that, that point to the inside of the refrigerator, so when you're at the grocery store, you can look at your phone to see what, appliance, what, what food you have in your refrigerator, so you can see what's on your shopping list. Um, it, it, has, it has changed so much in the last four years, it's just incredible that the technology that has, has entered these appliances. Okay, as far as cooking technology goes, Gen Air and, and another other manufacturers have made it easy for people who don't know how to cook. Uh, it has culinary centers built into it. It tells you what kind of product you're cooking with. Uh, if you're going to cook poultry, if you were going to do turkey, if you want it light or dark or medium, this ha what kind of pan you want to use. Uh, it has a temperature probe that you plug into the turkey and hit start and it cooks it and it will tell you when it's done. Yeah, I mean, laundry is another thing that, that has the, the, a lot of different trends that have come and gone with laundry. Um, we still see a lot of front loaders that we sell. Um, the big trend now is a lot of people are going back to the old fashioned, the old agitator style washers uh, because they clean well. Um, that's the one problem with some of the washers, the low water usage ones without agitators, they probably didn't clean as well as what the ones with the agitator do. Uh, we sell a lot of Speed Queen washers. That's kind of like an old, fa it looks like an old fashioned washer. It looks like a 20 year old machine, but it's brand new. Um, but it's built like a 20 year old machine. It, it, the motors, it's all American made. They're made down in Ripon, Wisconsin. The motors come from Marathon Electric. Super high quality, five year warranties on them, top to bottom. It's a 20, that washer lasts 20 years compared to everybody else in the industry. It lasts about 10. Stop in to see the latest models at Woodruff Appliance and TV in Woodruff or Tomahawk Appliance and Home in Tomahawk. With a smartphone, it seems like there's an app for everything lately. But what about an app for your entire house? To explain what we do, what we put, I use an umbrella of enhancing people's lives and especially their homes through electronics. And so we sell video products, televisions, Blu-ray players. We sell speakers, audio amplifiers, projectors, all the devices. Um, we sell security systems, cameras. Sell smart thermostats, smart door locks. Um, we sell lighting control and motorized shades. These are all different amenities that we offer that are wonderful on their own. But the biggest thing that we do is integrate them all, and we call that smart home technology. And that's where we bring all the different subsystems in a home and we put them under the umbrella so they're used off of one interface from your smart device or a universal controller. They're controllable on site or anywhere that you are in the world. Here's a touch panel on the wall. This is a seven inch touch panel, which is near the kitchen, which is a major hub of, for the home. 
And this represents the whole system that we're able to control. It's a great place to have it in the kitchen where we all gather. But you can see here the different subsystems we talked about. So all these systems work together. You can see here that we go to uh, the, the television icon. We can watch the satellite uh, DVD from the bedroom or DVD in the, uh, from the theater. We can come back to listen here, and here's our sources of satellite radio, local radio, and other sources that the homeowner has. Uh, very easy to, to use an interface. Our lighting control can be one room uh, that we're controlling or the whole house with one press. As you can see, the look and feel of the interface is the same for the touch panel as it is on your smart device, whether that be a phone, tablet, or PC. One of our best solutions is a universal remote control, which can do two major things. One, it'll take those four remotes, or as many as you have in that room, put them onto one product. It'll give you every button represented on the, on the original remotes on that universal. So if you have a caller ID button, that can be duplicated on the new universal. So you will not lose any features. But the real power is in the, the ability to take all those commands that you need to turn your system on and start watching that movie, we can put on one button. The integration part is the key to it because a smart door lock, for example, is available. A smart thermostat is available. Smart garage doors that, that do a lighting feature might be available. But every one of those might have its own separate app to, on your phone or smart device. What we do is we bring that all under one control system that you, you're using one app to control all of those devices. And again, they can talk to each other and trigger events off of one another. So we do the full, both the selling, the designing and the installation. And part of that installation is the handoff to you, the homeowner, so that you are very comfortable with how the system works. Contact Audio Video Environments, a Solaris company today for your free in-home consultation. It makes up our bridges and overpasses, but lately concrete has really stepped up its design game. Compared to years ago when concrete was only used for your steps or for your driveway coming into your home, the plain old gray concrete, now step into your home, look at a beautiful concrete stone wall that replicates natural stone at a virtual fraction of the cost. Look at a fireplace front that is made out of our concrete county stone that, that, uh, that enhances the beauty of any home. Look at our wood planking. When you walk into that brand new home, but you want it to look like an old farmhouse, you have that look with concrete that uh, would be very difficult to get from an old barn floor. And we've grown light years from uh, years ago to the uses of concrete now and all in your home. If you want to renovate your home versus build a whole new home, really there's an unlimited amount of options that you have. Uh, again, as far as flooring, uh, countertops, veneers for the inside of your home. It really uh, just adds just a ton of beauty inside and outside of what was once an old home and now actually without the expense of building a brand new one, it really does become a new home for you. Some people have a vision and they can see what they want to do. Um, other people say, you know, I want to do something, but I'm not sure what. We can help you in both cases. You can actually come out, take a look at the pavers, the walls, uh, the idea gallery, if you will, to help you build uh, uh, those ideas or to help meet the vision that you already have. First of all, pavers, uh, when you see them installed, there's something that draws your eye there. They're gorgeous, okay? They look good. They complement the home. Uh, they are aesthetically pleasing and they're low maintenance. Your neighbors love you for doing it because it does increase the value, the curb appeal, if you will. Um, and so we are seeing more and more uh, of, of that very distinctive look. Uh, locally, we have eight retail establishments uh, for customers or contractors to come in, make material selections, or pick their products up directly at our locations. Uh, sometimes people will bring in uh, siding samples or shingle samples and put it up with the different materials to help coordinate their colors.
We publish out a landscaping catalog which contains all our different product lines available in our, our landscaping side of things, the colors and the different textures and finishes. It's a one source for people to look at. All different kinds of industry or project photos, again, to reference. Um, just a valuable resource for people to go through and get ideas or suggestions. And then again, they can come into one of our local showrooms here in central Wisconsin and make, make a selection and look at the actual products. Stop by the County Materials Showroom in your area for more information and to see the latest options. The fireplace is traditionally a place where families gather, and as the options for that fireplace expand, the concept is still the same. Well, 2017, we've seen an increase in interest and in outdoor patio fire tables. Some are including accent and ambient lighting uh, underneath the tabletop. We are still dominated with the traditional log look with a nice ember lighting in front is popular. We're seeing a continued uh, growth or acceptance of the linear, non-traditional flame. We're showing a great deal of contemporary fireplaces, linear burners, not necessarily with logs in them, maybe with rocks or glass in them. And in the Midwest, that's not a large percentage of the people who are decorating in that way. With how busy the average Wisconsinite is in this day and age, gas has certainly earned its place as a way to plop down, push a button, enjoy instant comfort, turn it off and go to bed. With wood, you're rewarded for your effort, but it's not for everybody. It's a level of commitment that can be deeply rewarding, but it takes additional effort. We can take lights and illuminate the back wall of the brick, illuminate a front ember bed that's extremely realistic, so it looks like you've got these glowing coals there. With that, you're not producing any heat. It's just for the effect and that ambiance is created. One trend that I'm very, very happy with in the last several years, they've perfected the ability to work with a smart remote, a remote that will allow you to input your target temperature, your favorite comfort temperature for the zone, the flames will come on high and work hard to get you quickly to that temperature. And as it gets closer, the flames automatically self-adjust lower. So we're creating the perfect temperature and comfort, not burning any more gas than we need to. Uh, so it's the most efficient way to do it and the most comfortable way to do it. For you, you know, the, the, the best fit for the product might not be the best thing on the marketplace. That might be more product than you actually need. You know, the, the, the whole part of the customer inquiry part is to find out what it is, what your goals are, and what you want out of it, and to guide you through a product that fits that. And it might be the super premium product, and it might not be the super premium product. Some other product might fit your need better than that, and it is our job here at Snowbell to find out what it is that's the best fit for you and to guide you through your choices in that category. We can do custom design work where we take an idea from concept to design to execution with a complete turnkey operation. Snowbelt Fireplaces Stevens Point showroom has over 100 fireplaces, stoves, and inserts on display. Many of these are in home-like, fully decorated settings, so you could see what that fireplace or stove might look like in your home. Our knowledgeable sales staff is experienced at listening to you asking questions and finding the perfect fireplace stove or insert that fits your lifestyle and your needs. Stop into Snowbelt Fireplace today and find out what options will work best in your home. There's a lot more that goes into planting a tree than just digging a hole and filling it back in. Generally when people ask how to plant the tree, the number one thing is obviously it's got to come out of the container and sometimes the, it'll come out pretty hard, but you pull it out of the container and you can see the, the roots on the tree and uh, how, how big it is. Now, from here, a person can loosen up some of those roots. Sometimes those roots will encircle because it's grown in a pot, so you can break those apart. And the other thing is, when you dig the hole, it's not as, you don't want to plant it as deep as it is when it comes out of the pot. A lot of times, you want to search down and you remove some of this upper material until you find what we call a, a root collar, the root flare. And all trees have it and sometimes through the years 
it just gets hidden and buried. And you want to expose that, and that's the depth you want to plant. So here you can almost see we're taking off two or three inches of the stuff. So now your hole just got a lot more shallow. The width of the hole you want to make larger than the ball itself. You don't want to just stick that into a nice tight hole. You want to open it up and, and plant it that way. And then again, when you're done planting, you want to water it. That's the most important thing that'll help any tree survive. If it's summer, fall, if you can get it watered, it'll, uh, it'll survive a lot, uh, lot easier. As shallow as we have all the plants covered from shade to full sun, um, seasonal color as well as early bloomers and, and late bloomers as well. A lot of um, underutilized plants, one especially is uh, the hydrangea, it can go in full sun and full shade. There's multiple different varieties that can do even full sun and full shade. Um, it's a different colored um, plant as well so that ends up putting that extra pop of color into a landscape plant versus a traditional just white uh, hydrangea shrub. I would more than likely ask for anyone to narrow down is it more important for the budget or for the maintenance reasons. It seems like we get a lot of questions that um, uh, designs that require more of the easy maintenance versus the lower budget. For large or small projects um, we, we will focus in on the uh, attention to detail on any project whether it's small simple uh, tree planting to a very large elaborate patio. Uh, the variety here that we carry at the garden center is pretty uh, immense so we carry anything from lawn and garden, um, home decor, wine selections, we have a great kids section, um, pretty much everything for the, for the home inside and out. We offer a variety of classes um, throughout the spring, summer, and fall seasons. We offer classes that are um, tailored to the beginner landscape designer. We have classes that are about pruning and plant care. Uh, we have a class that is tailored specifically just to new varieties and what's new in the industry. So we've got classes for the beginner all the way up to the experienced. We have different classes that are around concrete and how to do leaf castings and a lot of things that tie the garden in with um, DIY and the, the do-it-yourselfers. For annuals, perennials, shrubs, trees, or residential and commercial landscaping, contact the experts at Shallows Nursery. Well, that's all the time we have for this special presentation. For the Central Wisconsin Spotlight Home Enhancement Show, I'm Patrick Daly. Video screens are everywhere. There's one in the hands of your customer right now. Put your business where people can see it with video from 777 Productions. Tell your story, show off your facility, or explain what makes your product special. Easily share your video with clients and investors, or use it to recruit new employees. The content is up to you. 777 makes it simple and affordable. Get a professionally produced two-minute video for your website for as little as $1,000. Contact 777 Productions today.